And we're back. Hey, gang. How's everybody doing? Happy Monday. It is Monday. It is Life Fest Live. It is John and Julie. Mm -hmm. And I'm freezing. It's cold in here, but we're getting a new studio built. We're getting new furnaces. We're getting all new stuff. Yeah. So someday it'll be warm and nice in here. So check in, everyone. We want to know who's watching, where you're from. Apparently, Kurt was the first one here. He's happy hey, about Kurt. that. He was the first one in. Thank you. Uh, both to our friends in Tennessee and to our friends in Wisconsin and everywhere else. If you're not from Tennessee or Wisconsin, make sure you yeah. let us know, as always. Um, I see Matthew. He's uh, Matthew Meyer. Matthew Myers. Myers. He likes the uh, the Life as Music City page. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Mike Quartz here. Hey, Mike's, Mike. Mike's always great. Uh, and Spike, oh, our buddy from Q90 FM is here. Spike, how you doing, buddy? Hey. Um, we are. Uh, we got a little bit different set. We're going with a little bit different table. It's, it's, what do y'all think? It's cozy. It's uh, kind of these higher chairs. We got rid of the table in front of us. It's now we have to wear real pants, not yeah. sweat pants. <laughs> and Julie can't wear her uh, bunny slippers anymore. <laughs> with uh, with the uh, yeah. So, how was your weekend? Well, after our week in Nashville area and Banaqua, and we went to Dixon and Centerville, we made the rounds. I was a little tired. We were also in Franklin and Brentwood. Oh, yes. Franklin. Brentwood. I went to First Watch four times and went to three different First Watches. That was kind of... <laughs> that was we, fun. Had, we had some great meetings. We met with some great, wonderful people and uh, a lot of excitement over Life Fest Music City and how people can be a part of it. So it was it was a great week. We had a... we. Did the, sh the the live last week from the uh, Storytellers Museum, mm -hmm. uh, which is the home of Life Fest Music City. So we're excited about that. Um, yeah, but lots of cool things going on. We, we've we got a great lineup, I think, for Oshkosh. We've got a great lineup for Music City. Yes. Uh, both festivals are coming together. Um, Want to give you guys a little bit of a heads up that there are going to be some COVID uh, protocols in place, so to speak. Um we definitely want to keep safety in mind. We want your safety to be the most important thing that we that we do uh, while we're out there. Um, so you're going to see people with uh, the plexiglass, you know, shields and uh, stuff like that. As far as the staff members are concerned, and as far as the, uh, you know, the general people that that interact with a lot of the public mm -hmm. uh, are going to be doing that. There's also going to be more cleaning restrictions, more people doing stuff with sanitizing and bathroom porta potty cleaning and all that kind of stuff. Which means. We need volunteers. Volunteers. Um, Tennessee site is already open. Uh, that opened January 1st. We got a bunch of people who are already signing up for the new festival. Uh, the Oshkosh Festival, our goal is to have it up by February 1st. So what is that? Four days, five days from now. Next week, Monday, most likely. Yeah. But uh, Courtney, CC, our uh, volunteer coordinator, she's working hard to get all of that up and running. So we're excited that we'll have volunteers for both festivals open much earlier than we did in the past. Typically that was always an April 1st mm -hmm. kind of end of March time. Uh, but, but have them to have them up and running first of February is great. Yeah. So, this is a great time for groups to do this, families to do this, um, church groups, school groups. Uh, definitely there's space for everybody. One of my favorite teams is the adopt a bathroom folks. Uh, we won't have those in Tennessee, but in Oshkosh, uh, basically you sign up as a group, you sign up as a youth group, you get a, couple of campsites you get tickets to the festival and you clean the bathrooms every couple hours and then at the very end of the festival i get to come around and clean the bathrooms finish by myself do the do the final you got to take down like the clean bathroom signs and stuff mostly and pick up some other things and pick up the trash so carol johnson's in <laughs> she's already signed up apparently hey, uh so as you can see uh yeah tennessee information is available go ahead and click on the links uh Brittany's running our uh, comments again uh this weekend or this this evening so yeah. that's exciting but uh yeah we had a good time in tennessee we did it was a good time got to hang out with brian oxley one of the owners yeah so if you didn't catch last week's live go ahead and check that out it's towards the end oh. uh we talked to brian oxley him and his brother chris own the property mm -hmm. uh it's an amazing amazing thing to do so if, if you're uh if you want to do both festivals you can do both festivals yes great. campsites are available for music city Campsites are available in Oshkosh, so set yourselves up. And the uh, the add-on stuff, we still have some meet and greet passes available. Oh. That's actually one of those areas that I want to just mention that uh, meet and greets might look a little different. 
uh, just because of COVID, you know, social distancing, that kind of thing. So, but they will still happen. They will still happen. Uh, they just may look a little different. So, um, also as you, you know, as you look, uh, in Oshkosh, there's those lovely green grass hills mm -hmm. that we've kind of had porta potties and stuff in front of, uh, you're going to see that opened up. So there's going to be just way more space, uh, for people to hang out and, and do their thing. So, all right. And apparently Spike wants to throw out a, a, a shout out to Mockor, which is one of <laughs> Micah's favorite bands. Yeah. <laughs> Micah, if you're out there, buddy, uh, <laughs> I don't get in the ma core mosh pits uh, as much as I used to, but uh, but they are they are amazing bands. So. Maybe we should start that again. Me in the mosh pit? Mm -hmm. I'll take some pictures. Uh, you know, I actually. <laughs> so in 2019, I uh, got a kid uh, uh, <laughs> for, for that. See, catching me in the mosh pit—that'd be great. Uh, so in 2019, I was making the rounds doing my thing. And I'm an audio engineer. Like I do sound like that's, that's like my, that's what I do. Like that's my passion. And, uh, Jesse, our guy who's run sounds, who runs sound in the pit stage, like he needed a lunch break. So I spelled him for like 30 minutes. I had to mix one of the metal bands. So that was my, that was my fun. I don't remember which band it was. It might've been, uh, I said for the fall or something like that. But anyway, I, I, that got my taste of, of the heavy, heavy stuff. And then I was like, <laughs> all right, guys, we'll see ya. I'm going to go back to the cafe stage, uh, and, uh, main stage and hang out over there. But um, yeah, so time to give something it away. It is time to give something away. Where's our wheel? Right there. Ooh. It's the like and share wheel. Like and share, like and share. With like this new share. set, it looks bright. It does. Your K actually works in the little thing right now. Yeah. It's kind of. It does. Somebody must have. It's. I think Lucas like cut it to make it. The fit. small K is sponsored by Molly. Molly Drake. Molly Drake. Molly something or other. Yeah. So, uh, so last week, uh, we were down in Tennessee, and we didn't have the like and share wheel with us. So we're giving away a day of meet and greet passes. Ooh. And the winner of the like and share contest was Beth and Sharon White. <laughs> <laughs> Beth, Beth Ann, Ann S. White. Uh, if you're out there, go ahead and message the, uh, the board, and we will uh, get those off to you. Uh, get you hooked up with the day and the festival that you want to go to. We didn't we didn't put a restriction on it. It's either festival, whichever one you're going to be at, oh. uh, and then uh, whatever day you want, we'll uh, we'll get you hooked up with those. So yeah. So Julie, you want to spin it? Absolutely. You can see it. It actually looks nice with the kind of in the new positioning. It does. I can't see what it says though. What are they winning? A copy of Dignity Revolution. Hey. Which is not over here anymore. <laughs> We moved everything. It must be on. It must be over there. We'll have so, to fix that. So, Dignity Revolution is the book that Bob wrote. It's about his sister Lois. Uh, it's a great book. Public schools use it. Um, it's a great book for anti-bullying and and kind of how to talk to your teens about mental health issues and things like that. Uh, we're still doing schools with Dignity Revolution. We're still doing all of that. So, mm -hmm. uh, that book goes out to whoever likes and shares this post. Uh, like it and share it. Like it and share it. And then we'll. Go ahead and send you a copy of that book if your name is drawn next week. Um, want to thank the people that make this whole thing possible year after year. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Julie's got our sponsors. Yes, this week's sponsors. First up, we have Gold Cross Ambulance. They have been a great sponsor since 2013 with LifeFest. They provide medical services um, at the festival. They also provide CPR and AED training. So if you have interest in that area, they can help with that. Um, next up, we have the Matt Schmidt Faith Foundation. This is a charitable organization out of Green Bay, Wisconsin, in honor of Matt Schmidt, who died in a tragic car accident in 2016. Um, they support nonprofit organizations that Matt loved, and they have been a Life Fest sponsor since 2019. So thank you so much to those two sponsors from uh, or for Life Fest Wisconsin. We added a new category, everybody. Life Fest Music City sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> we we have some Life Fest Music City sponsors rolling Yay! in, uh, which is exciting. That's what we were down there doing. We we're talking to people about how they can partner and how they can be part of what we do. Yeah. And our good friends at Way FM. Way FM, that is Way FM in Nashville, 88.7 and 89.9 are their frequencies. You can also live stream their station, which I did today. I had them on all day. Thank you. 
Um, this is a listener supported station and they have so much to offer. Um, check out their website. They really do. They've got um, Way Now, Way Loud, Way Back, no, wait, no Fresh. Um, we're <laughs> no, not Way Back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we are proud to be partnered with Way FM and everything they've been doing for Life Fest Music City. If you and your company are interested in being sponsors for either festival, please contact me and someone will put my contact information in the comments or you can email info at lifepromotions.org. I think they should start a way back and they could do like retro <laughs> stuff, like old school, like the Carmo and Key and yeah. I gotta, well, we gotta, we gotta talk to, we'll to talk Taft to about that. Uh, maybe we have to let it simmer a little bit after what happened when we were down in Nashville. Ah, uh, they made a bet, yes. and this is—it's a little painful to talk about it today because they made a Packer wager with us. Absolutely, I didn't even think of that. Um, they made a Packer wager with us. So the Packers played the Titans a few weeks ago, and uh, the guys at WFM were like, "Oh, our Titans are going to totally win." So they bet us that if well you can watch you can watch the video just just watch the video <laughs> Hey Lefes family uh John here with Julie uh and a while back we got a video sent from our friends down at Way FM uh and they challenged us to a little friendly wager uh, it had to deal with the Titans uh, versus our lovely Packers mm -hmm. uh, Derek Henry was all set up to yeah. come into the snow covered Lambeau field it was a beautiful game. and just run all over the place. Yeah. And, you know, uh, boy Ryan Tannehill was going to just throw just throw it up to AJ Brown and it was going to be this amazing game for the Titans. Yeah, big dream of theirs. It was, they had all these hopes and aspirations and uh, guess what? Our, our Packers took care of business. They, uh, they did what they do uh, and they're on their way to the NFC Championship game. We're excited about it. Um, but the bet was that if uh, the Titans won, we would have to eat some Tennessee hot chicken, which I do not do well with. I hot <laughs> stuff like like mild salsa is as extreme as I get. Uh, Julie probably would have been okay, but I would have been sweating and, and crying the whole deal. So, but nobody wants to see that. Um, so then the, the the return bet was that they would have to eat. Limburger cheese. I feel like. Right. Okay, Vanna. Oh, I this mild oh. smelling cheese. It has a unique aroma. Only made in the United States in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Yes, so they get to take a bite of the Limburger cheese, which is actually a great tasting cheese. You just have to get past that mild smell. So let's uh, let's bring out our friends, uh, Taft and Tyler. And Tyler, uh, guys, how you feeling about this? You're so excited. I was feeling great about the game. <laughs> we were pretty cocky, uh, saying we'll do it and we'll eat their stinkiest cheese. And then we made great friends uh, with these folks here. I started telling us about how it was their grandfather's select cheese. And I'm afraid, Tyler's a pretty cultured dude. And uh, I'm afraid that we're not going to be able to handle it. Um, I don't, I don't do this. So a little flap open. They have been freaking out since then. It's a little yeah. bit of the smell. When it comes to yeah. cheese, I enjoy a good provolone, good monster. Told you. A good Told sharp you. cheddar. Good sharp cheddar. But this is new ground. <laughs> now, now you, you guys, that's Wisconsin for y'all. You guys don't look quite right. Okay, hold on. Well, look right. That's true. You lost a bat. You need to wear it as well as taste it. So, so. We brought we brought some uh, some appropriate attire uh, down for you for these guys. Yeah, the, the discount <laughs> double check. You gotta get the belt in there. I'm a Brett Favre fan. We are too. Never thought this guy would have to carry on. There you go. All right. Water's Water's up already. Water might be. <laughs> so we want to we open it up and then yep. we slice it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, should we hold our nose? Now normally nope. you would put it on a cracker or you get some blood sausage or brown swagger to Ooh, go along with this. Brown swagger. Um, but we're just we're just going with the cheese. I'm not going to be careful with it. Let's just. Why are you stepping back? Oh, well, we want the show's on you now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Come 
like Vince Vaughn. I'm gonna do it too. Like, oh. <laughs> Again, self-described unique aroma. Right. Yeah. That's, that is a word for it. Hold on, up right here. <laughs> I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get you a block, Tyler. This is a. Uh, this is all Derrick Henry's fault. Um, should be. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna tag him in this. Uh, all right, so um, you want to get closer to show him how great this Lindberger is? Can we get on frame there? No, I'm. I don't want. <laughs> I want to up on, on, on this jersey or oh, that one. He's a big dude. I, I can't okay. do it. I feel like we need a, we need a prayer. Where's Pastor Chad? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it, dude. I'm not even. This isn't theatrical. In the name of Jesus, let it taste like mustard. <laughs> <laughs> Will you put your foot on the bottom? Your hand on the bottom. Put your hand on the bottom, like this. Oh, maybe we'll do it. Right. Oh, oh no, no, I can't no, do no. it, dude. I can't do it. Can we count to three and go for it? Three, two, one. <laughs> I'm so scared right now. Is there a trash can in the near vicinity? Right. So, all right. Someone's getting a trash can. What if it tastes great? What if it's like awesome? I mean, let's hope so. All right, all right. All right. Trash can Thank it you. is. Three, two, two one. One. <laughs> <laughs> Away for uh, for this lovely little waiter. Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> sorry, but I can't stop laughing at that every time I watch it. So that happened. <laughs> <laughs> and the, we did actually eat it too. Like did. it's 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 fine. I don't know what the problem. I could have used a trisket, but you know you could have put it. Yeah, <laughs> actually, had we had like a little you know a little piece of sausage or something, a little venison sausage and a you know. Oh, yeah, you betcha. Put her on a put her on a cracker. That would have been so the, great. The funny part was we had a meeting after that, and it it was on Taft's hand, <laughs> and he's just like, I I can't stop smelling it. It's so bad you keep smelling it. And so I'm like, you're going to have to wash your hands a lot. I felt bad because we went up to the loft, which is like their little, like it's an open kind of common space that they use for like yeah. meetings and shooting stuff. And <laughs> there were, there was like three people that like their desks are in that <laughs> space and they were like, oh. so they had to sit in it the whole day. So, uh, yeah. I okay. hope you guys enjoyed it. Like and share. <laughs> your taste buds have been killed by bean boozled. <laughs> we, you're you used to correct. it. I guess it's. We could do Bean Boozled the Cheese Edition and just put like <laughs> stuff out. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so thanks to our friends at Way FM. Uh, and again, it's a sad day. You know, Packers lost to the to the to the to the referees. I mean, the the Tampa oh. Bay Buccaneers. Um, <laughs> Shouldn't say those things. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Anyway. Just yeah, not at all. Not a not a slight bit. Um, anyway, so we do have some. Uh, so moving on, carrying on, we do have some Christian entertainment news. Yeah coming out of florida well yeah um mercy me is back they're going to be performing for the first time since march of last year um they are going to be performing at the showtel uh amelia island uh in florida on march 5th sorry guys it's the showtel i don't know stage amelia island in florida tickets are on sale um, it doesn't look like it's going to be a large show, so I would check them out uh, if you're going to be in Florida in March. Is that spring break time? That sounds like spring break time. Hmm. Shortly after the Chiefs beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the Super Bowl. Yes. You heard it here first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not here first. I'm sure millions of people have said that. Oh, and the, in, in the converse, but, um, you know. Yeah. Okay, moving on 35, from football. 35-24. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, so we've, uh, speaking of moving on, live promotions, uh, obviously with COVID, we had to shift gears. We weren't able to do the festival last year. Uh, and we do these things called Bob Lens Devotions. It's these little one minute snippets. Um, they're these great little videos that uh, our president and founder Bob Lens has put on. Since we can't be in public school, since we can't be out doing public events uh, as, as we used to, uh, we started this thing, uh, and it's on the radio, on a couple of radio stations. It's on a podcast. Make sure you check out the podcast, but you can put the put the the links down there, or you can just go to Spotify or Apple Music or wherever you get your podcasts uh, and search for Hope for Life. Uh, and this is brought to us by our friends at String, String Swing. Swing, who still make amazing stuff. Actually, what's fun is we were down in Nashville, and I saw String Swing stuff like all over the place because they hang guitars. That's what they do. Anyway, check out the latest Hope for Life video. The Bible says in Matthew 6, 12, and forgive us our debts as we also forgive our debtors. Debt? How much do you owe? How much do I owe? I found some stats saying that the average American owes $90,460. Some of that at debt may be home or land that has equity, but a lot of it is credit cards that were used for vacation or experiences gone, with interest rates that keep growing. A lot of people end up filing for bankruptcy. Debt that just hangs over us and it drags us down. You can't pay it off. Wouldn't it be great if someone would forgive your loans, pay your credit card bills, your debt? Wouldn't that just be amazing? By praying the Lord's Prayer, you are admitting, God, I owe you a debt that I cannot pay. I have sinned, and the wages of sin is death. And you paid a debt for me that you didn't know. Help me to forgive others that way as well. Thank you, Bob, yeah. for uh, for that wonderful uh, it was a good message. Mes message. Mes message. I can't say special message. It's just too difficult. <laughs> a lot of a lot of shh and shh. shushes in there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So we've been doing that every week. Uh, you can find it on our Facebook pages. You can find it on the Bob Lens Live Promotions Facebook page, Spotify, all those things. Another thing that is dear and near to my heart is the we've been calling it internally the G three. Uh, God, games, and geekery. Uh, that is another thing that when we pivoted, which is a big word everyone likes to use in COVID Except for John. times. I don't like pivot. It's just a weird <laughs> word. You can't say message. I can't say, I don't like to say pivot. Anyway, uh, so we did do that. And Lem, where are you at, buddy? Lem is our, uh, you know, he's in his fortress. There, so there he, is. he is. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing all right, guys. How you guys doing? Good. He's Good. got his pink uh, pink uh, head gamer headset on there. Yeah, man. Uh, so we've been doing this G3 thing. Uh, we've talked about it quite a bit uh, on these lives, but it's it's a podcast. Uh, it's a uh, streaming on Twitch. It's some of those things. Um, it's, an know, like, it's, a, it's an Instagram. Yeah. It's, it's a it's Twitter. A it, it, we, I'm working on TikTok. I'm working to okay. understand TikTok for myself before I bring God Games E3 into it. So you tick, but you don't talk. Is that right? I tick, don't talk. <laughs> Do you tack? Do uh, you tick tack? So, yeah. so you can find Depending that. On yeah, if I had Limburger cheese. I see Brittany's got it in the comments. Uh, so it's it's God Games and Geekery. You talk about like you kind of mesh the two worlds, right? You talk. It's for for gamers yeah. and for for like I, I I love the fact that you you were doing like the Marvel universes Bible stories which doesn't really yeah. make all that sense. But like talking about, you know, weeks ago you you had like the the Professor X and his, you know, and the Juggernaut. So they're sort of brothers, they're stepbrothers, but they're, you know, and, and you kind of take that terminology and, and, and popular culture stuff and you, you, you relate it to the Bible. It's great. Yeah, it's um, a lot of fun. I love it. Yeah, and so that is changing a little bit though in, yes. in the interim here. Uh, we're moving it from a weekly podcast to a monthly podcast and it's going to be longer with more content. Uh, but just uh, once a month instead of weekly, right? And, and then, is that uh, going to be the is that going to be the first Thursday of every month? That's going to be uh, the final. It, it'll be the last week of each month. The last Thursday of every month is when yeah. that comes out. So go on to Apple Podcasts or Spotify, Starting next or whatever. Month. So we we've Starting already had it for this one. Yeah. Perfect. 
So go to go to Apple Podcasts and all those places and click on those and, and do the do the likes and the the shares and the things. Uh because five star ratings obviously help promote those. But do that with Bob, do that with with uh with limbs, and away we go. So now we're gonna do what is Julie's favorite part of the show. <laughs> Deep sigh. Oh, you threw my confetti. This is not confetti material. <laughs> I have rules. So here's the thing, you guys. My whole uh my whole thing, I had a song picked out and then it went away. So now I have to pick another another song. How did okay. it go away? I think it you just, probably closed the screen. It, I closed the window so that we could have a better stream. <laughs> and then uh that was mm. not why. So I'm going to do uh I, I don't even you know what? Let's try this one. Well, remember everybody, you can also help me. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can guess the song and we get it right because we're on the same team, <laughs> we can make John eat the jelly bean. Now so, last week I had off and it was wonderful. So apparently it's the world against me. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. And if nobody gets it, then both of us have to do one. So that's how that goes. But so remember, we're together. All right. All right. Um, is there so a hint? This is, um, you guys were in Nashville. And anytime you go to Nashville, I got to do a country song. So, okay. It's a country right. and Western song. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I, I, I like both kinds. Country, country and English. Western. <laughs> <laughs> Julie's got her own rooting section here. Car Carol Johnson's like, go, Julie. Okay. Come on, everybody. We can do it. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. okay. Is this like Tammy Wynette? I'm watching the comments. Jump in Something if you know. About it. A breaking heart. My broken heart. I have no idea. Can you hear the twang? Your aching heart. Not the achy breaky heart. Is it your your cheating heart? <laughs> wait, wait, Mike, Mike. What? Mike got it first. Mike Court, your, your cheating, cheating heart. heart. Hank Williams. Mike, are you on my team? Mike. Okay, so Mike. I'm just gonna go ahead and spin because I assume that's the <laughs> Hold on, no, 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 Mike, who said it? What? Mike, Mike, who is it for? Who's it for, Mike? <laughs> he probably checked out because he didn't no, want to. Here. He's here. <laughs> He, he doesn't just type that. Yeah, John's got to do it. John okay. eats it. Yeah. I won, I won so again. It's, it's toasted marshmallow or stink bug. Oh, now, stink John bug is horrible, dude. I'm, I'm stink not bug feeling is good about horrible. this. I'm not feeling good about this. So before I do this, thanks, Brittany, for doing the comments. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thank you, Mike. Uh, Mike. Madeline's here tonight. She's working the cameras and doing stuff like that. Uh, Julie. Oh, you yeah. don't get the GoPro cam because. Yeah, no, there isn't one. It, we, we lost the cable. That's not marshmallow. <laughs> That's confetti. Worthy. Woo! <laughs> let's, let's hang on and let's watch this moment. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't. Stink bug is bad, dude. Oh, really? Yeah, man. Huh. Okay. It's down. All right. So, 
Once again, thanks, Brittany, Lem, and Julian. Remember, stay safe and wash your hands.